Hi there gorgeous people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on and watching another video. If you are new here then my name is Ashley and I am very very pleased to meet you. I thought today I could do a bit of a not, not at all a makeup tutorial. I just wanted to show you the actual makeup products that I use. I I was just so blown away by all the beautiful, lovely, lovely, lovely comments and direct messages that you sent me when I put up the picture on my Instagram. I will pop it up on the screen here. You're all so, so, so kind to me because I literally never do my makeup. So for the fact that I did it and made a little bit of an effort for my Christmas party, I thought, you know what? I will come on and I will do a little makeup video and just show you everything that I use. By no means am I going to tell you how to do your makeup in this video because honestly I don't know. <laughs> this is just the way that I do it. I'm going to go through everything that I do use. I will link it all down below as well. Pretty much all of this stuff is from Look Fantastic because that is pretty much the only place that I ever shop for my makeup and skincare. But yeah, so everything will be linked down below. I'm going to try and keep this as short and as sweet as possible. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your lovely messages. And without further ado... Let's just get straight on into it. We're just gonna have to ignore the rollers that are in my hair. It's just the best way to get my hair up out of my face and to obviously get that volume. So yeah, we're just gonna ignore those. And also my little pearl face, <laughs> but this will soon change. For me, it is all about the prep. Like I am no makeup artist and this is by no means a tutorial. Like I just wanna show you the products that I use and for me if my face doesn't feel like plump moisturized and just so 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 soft and ready to go then my makeup just doesn't sit very nicely at all so i don't actually use a primer i've never used a primer i just feel like if my face is moisturized enough then it does the job if i'm going out then i would do like a full-on like face mask and all that shebang but for today i've just done my normal skincare routine and i mean if i do say so myself like i've got a bit of a glow on the go i mean i've got a few blemishes because i'm just coming out with some spots at the moment if you don't know i spoke about it on my um, instagram stories but i came off of my pill and this is kind of the reaction that i'm getting at the moment but we move we're gonna crack on. So to begin with, I use the NARS and this is the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. Now, I literally, I'm not the biggest fan of foundation anymore. I don't know what happened. I've just gone completely off it and I don't like using it all over my face. This is the best, the best, the best, the best, the best tinted moisturizer that i have found and i've been through them all like i've been through so many i've tried the laura mercier one and that for me it just it didn't like i don't know it didn't cover my face very well and i know you can build these things up but just like the consistency for me just wasn't very nice um i've tried also this more affordable l'oreal one as well which again just just didn't do bits for me in the way that the NARS one does. And also I have tried the By Terry CC Serum as well, which to be fair, I absolutely love this. I love By Terry products so much. It's just a bit too much on the pricey side for me, really, like honestly, but I do really, really like this. It is very buildable and yeah, that is great, but I am pretty much, as you can see, out of that now. But I, this is my favourite. This is most definitely the best one that I have found. So basically, I just pop this all over my face, blend it down my neck. And I do use a beauty blender for this as well. Sometimes I've tried them and they seem better with my fingers. Don't mind me just using the viewfinder as my mirror either but sometimes i do find that using my fingers is better but with this one i found that it's better to use a beauty blender um i will just actually touch on this one as well so this is the one that i use during the day it is actually very surprisingly the new skin um tinted moisturizer now i don't know if they even sell this anymore so i'll have to have a look into that but i actually really really like that um, I know people have like massive mixed feelings on the whole new skin thing, but actually I really, really like their tinted moisturizer. So yeah, I'm just gonna use a beauty blender 
and dab that all over my face quickly. I then like to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. So this is for normal to oily skin. And I, like I say, I don't use this all over my face. That NARS has given me, like, it's thin enough so that you can still see the glow of my skincare through it. But it's just enough coverage for more like a day to day for me. Like, I do really, really like this um, because it's just like, it's, I know this sounds weird, but it just feels like really soft on my face. Like, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Like, I can't feel it. And I would be very, very happy to go out like this. But if I'm looking for more like a longer, lasting night out kind of makeup then i will just take a blob of this on the back of my hand and basically i just pop this where i get sort of like more blemishes or like more redness so on my cheeks i get quite a bit of like pigment is it pigmentation i'm not sure i just get quite a bit of redness on my cheeks so i just pop a tiny bit where i want it because I like seeing the like dewy glow of my skincare underneath and coming through from my makeup. So I do like to keep it super duper light and not then sort of like cake my face in foundation basically. Um, I've got a little spotty down there, let's cover him up. Um, and that's about it really. But yeah, bring that down my neck and foundation, face wise. <laughs> It's as simple as that. <laughs> Next up then, for concealer, I like to use the Radiant Creamy Concealer. So this is the NARS one. Um, and yeah, I really like to use this. I haven't been telling you the shades that I use things in. So in the NARS, I use Mykonos Medium Zero. That only really works if I've got a tan on, otherwise, I need to go lighter than that, but I've got a tan on at the minute, so it's all right, it will all blend. Um, and then in the Fit Me Foundation, I use 128, so 128 Warm Nude. And in this, I use the Chantilly Light One. I was about to say flavor then, it's not flavor, it's shade, isn't it? <laughs> My goodness. But basically, I just do a little dobby under my eye like that, and then a little bit up that way so just a bit in there bit in there and then when i do like blend it in i use a beauty blender to blend it in i just take it kind of down the side of my nose as well so i dob it down and then just kind of bring it bring it down my nose a little bit as well because i will very slightly very slightly contour my nose in a moment i do also then take any sort of excess actually over the top of my eye too i used to like fully heavily carve out my brow, like whack so much concealer all over my eyelid, properly carve out my brows. But I mean, obviously each to their own, but I just, I just feel like I've fallen out of love with makeup. I just love the very more natural, I've got makeup on, but I don't have makeup on kind of look now. And plus I don't have time. Like I know some people like really enjoy sitting down and doing their makeup for like two or three hours, having a little drink while you do it. But for me, I just want to get it over and done with. <laughs> like getting ready for me, it's just a bit of a ball ache. <laughs> but that's just because I'm just not a massive fan of actually doing my makeup. Um, so it would help if I would tell you what um, I'm actually using now. But the powder I use, I set my concealer as soon as I've blended it out because otherwise I find that I get more wrinkles. So I use this Morphe E48 brush. It's like a little tapered brush. I actually really, really like this just because it gets like right in the corner of my eye nicely. Um, I don't put a lot on either of the Laura Mercier. This is just, it's just an absolute like needs must really this powder i've tried the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless is it called i've used the charlotte tilbury powder and i just yeah i just wasn't in love with it as much as i am this laura mercier one like i do really really like this and you don't need a lot like oh my goodness i have had this pot for months like i have had this for so 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 long and it's just yeah it's lasted me for ages because as you can see i like put hardly any powder on at all but i'm just going to do the concealer on my other eye quickly and the only other place that i put powder 
is just literally down loose bit because I am so expressional, like so, so, so expressional. Really could probably do with looking into a bit of Botox now, if I'm honest with you, I'm getting on a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so, so expressional and my little smile lines, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> crease a lot where i'm smiling all the time because i'm just such a bloody happy person but yeah so i just put a bit down there just to stop them and just bloody bang it all over anywhere do what you want with it do you know what i mean but oh absolute nightmare so when i went out on my christmas party last week i've lost my bronzer i've lost my nars can't even remember what it's called. Let me just Google it quickly. That was it. So it's the NARS Mini Bronzing Powder Laguna. That one. And oh my goodness. I lost it. Because I always take my bronzer out with me. Like bronzer is my favourite bit of makeup. Like I love just warming up my face so, so, so much. Like it is literally my favourite bit. So absolutely raging at myself that i've obviously just put that down and left it in the toilet and completely forgotten about it so i'm gonna have to order a new one so i've gone back to my old and very very trusty benefit hula bronzer like this is so loved it is so 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 loved which is why i've moved on to the nars one but we can go back to this one for now so if you're looking for a new bronzer couldn't recommend that nars one enough i do obviously absolutely love this hula one though um, and I put this like right up at the back of my cheek. I used to bring my bronzer like all the way down to pretty much my lip. But now I just kind of try and keep it up at the back of my face a lot. I just feel like it. Look at me chatting as if I know what makeup does. <laughs> I just like feel like it. What's the word? Like, I don't know, but it kind of does this with my face rather than this when i bring my bronzer all the way down so i literally just keep it right up here and i actually bring it kind of like up towards my temple because i don't know i just feel like i look i like the look of it i just like the look of it so i do it <laughs> but yeah and then i just put a bit on the top of my forehead as well and then i bap a bit under my non-existent chin just to make it look like i've got a bit more of a jawline you know next up then normally i would have done my eyebrows by now as well i don't really know why i haven't i'm in a bit of a bit of a tiz doing this because i don't really feel like i know what i'm doing <laughs> but also just want to show the products that i use at the same time as well um so i'm going to use i'm going to do my blusher now and i use the life's a peach l'oreal blusher again i used to do this like right down here right on like the apples on my cheek but i felt like because i've got quite big cheeks i'd end up looking like a little hamster and i was like storing my food in there so i actually keep this like right up here as well now just to get because this is quite more of a it's not very pinky it's more peach says it in the name yeah just to add a bit more like life and color back into my face again because where i go absolutely ham on the bronzer sometimes i don't end up looking like a human anymore and i look a little bit just as if i've lost all my color so i kind of like it looking as if i've been out in the uh been out in the cold a bit more especially in this winter so yeah i just put a bit on my nose as well i don't know why i don't know why i do i just like it i just like it so there's some going on my nose. After I do that, I then, oh, I actually then use a bit of spray because by this point, because I've got so many like powders on my face, although I've got like a really good dewy, moisturizing, hydrating base on underneath, I like actually just putting a bit of moisture back on my face again before I highlight. And I also find that I can then really easily see where the points are that the light hits my face because it's got a bit of moisture back in it again. So I love the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, but I ran out and I heard about this dupe. So this is the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. Now I absolutely love how this sprays. It's got like a really wide mist on it. I chat some pure shit, don't I? But it has got some, like, it's got a really wide mist on it. Like, I hate those sprays that you spray and it feels like it's going to 
shoot you in the eye like it no just absolutely not like i love these mist ones i do like this and to be fair actually i used it the other night for my christmas party and my makeup stayed on like absolutely fine all night but i did absolutely like douse my face in it like it's that i feel like that's a word but it's weird because with the urban decay one i feel like i can feel it on my face so I know where I've been, whereas this one really is like a super, super fine mist. So I just put an absolute load on. And then I will use a little fluffy duffy brush. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. So I use this little fluffy brush and I just bang a bit of the Doll Beauty. This is like a diamond highlighter. I put a bit on the tip of my nose, a bit on the bridge, and then just a tiny bit up here. Now this is so pigmented and I like it. Whereas if you like, if you look at me straight on, it doesn't look as if I've got highlighter on, but then if I go like that, I like then being able to see the highlighter because I've gone off of highlighter a bit. I used to, again, absolutely wang it everywhere. Whereas now, I just prefer a more of a subtle, more of a subtle look, you know? So yeah, that will do me. Next up, better do my brows because I would have long done them by now. <laughs> like I normally do them before I do my concealer. So I don't know why I haven't done them, but yeah, I would do my brows quickly now. I use everything Benefit for my eyebrows. So I use the gel. I then use the Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I also use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Now for this, I actually don't use the thicker side. You get a thick brush that looks like, not a brush, a thicker pencil that looks like that with it, but I don't actually use that side. I just use it for, for the spoolie <laughs> on the other side and can really brush through my brows properly. But all I do is literally brush through them, add a bit of a line underneath, add a few more hairs, and then whack the gel on top. So I'll do that now. Brows are done. As you can see, there's literally like hardly anything on them, but just a little something, something you did not need to see me that close, did you? Oh my goodness. And then all I do is so I would normally do this with the NARS bronzer, but I just take the same fluffy brush that I had the highlighter on because I don't know where my other brush has gone. Um, and then I just rub that into the crease just to add a bit of depth <laughs> to my eye. So I just rub that in and I basically just take it all over my lid. But yeah, just a little bit like that. And then if I'm feeling crazy, what I will then do is I will go back into the highlighter and I do really like a highlighted brow, brow bone. So just tickle a little bit, tickle a little bit. What am I actually on about? Underneath the brow bone. So you can kind of see there's a little bit of a glisten there. Okay, so that is both eyes done. If I'm going like out, out, and I want to like mix it up a little bit, then I probably would normally put a darker shadow just on the end of my, on the end of my eyes, you know, like just in the creasy bit, and then a bit of a shimmer in the middle. But I don't often do a lot with my eyeshadow. I do just normally do a brown all over. Now this mascara. This is the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal Mascara. It is a dream. I love this mascara so, 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 so much. I can't even explain. It's basically got castor oil in it. So when you wear it over sort of like a, a certain amount of time, I definitely noticed a change in my eyelashes. Like they have a hundred percent grown without a doubt. But I have been using this mascara for probably like a year now. So if you are looking to help your lashes grow and you're using a serum at the minute to help them and you just want that extra, just that extra kick, you know, to help them get going, I would 100% recommend this mascara without, without a doubt. So I've just popped that on my top and bottom lashes and 
this would be kind of like where I stop and where I finish if I was doing my everyday makeup. I wouldn't have put the foundation on and I wouldn't have put the highlighter on, but that is just kind of like my everyday makeup. And then all I do if I'm going out is add the foundation, add a lot more setting spray, and I also put some lashes on. So I wear the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I'll put a picture of them up on the screen here because I was gonna put some on for this video, but I don't know where they've gone. <laughs> so i will show you up on the screen here um but what i do is i literally just cut off the corner and put them on this edge of my eye here i don't actually wear my false eyelashes all the way across now because i just like the look of them when they like elongate your eyes out that way it's a more of a cat eye effect but the only other thing that i do is i use a black eyeliner so this is the actual this is actually just the number seven one um, I do prefer my pixie one. I have a pixie black eyeliner, but it's literally just run out and it's a waterproof one as well. And my eyes like cry quite a lot when I'm out in the wind. So it was perfect for just staying on my eyes and not moving because I hate it when I get little black bits that like start coming just, just no. But if I know that I'm going to be inside, then I actually don't mind this one. This is actually all right. And it's really creamy as well, which is nice. But I do just like to run this on the bottom of my eyelid. And then I also just take it up and put it in. What do you call this part of your eye? It's your waterline, isn't it? Yeah, I put it in my waterline top and bottom and I don't take that all the way across either. That's literally all I do. The only other thing that I forgot to do earlier is I also take this little fluffy brush with a bit of the bronzer on it and I just very gently put a tiny bit down the side of my nose and just pat that out. Very much last of all then is my lip combination. So I use the stripped down MAC liner. I'm sure everybody, their dog and their mum has heard about this eyeliner, but not eyeliner, lip liner is what I'm meant to be talking about. But yeah everybody everybody has it now i know a lot of people draw like over the top of their cupid's bow but i actually really like trying to keep the sort of like defineness of it so i keep my oh my goodness i can't do it and talk at the same time so i like to try and keep the shape of my cupid's bow in and i don't overline my lips at all and then I pat that in. It's probably good to say that actually, like when I do my skincare, I put a lip balm on as well. So my lips have already got some moisturizer, not moisturizer, but they've got moisture on them from the lip balm. So I can very easily just blend that lip liner in because I prefer to have like a bit more of a subtle lip line rather than a lip liner situation. Last but not least, my lip gloss so i use the lifter gloss by maybelline the hyaluronic acid one and it literally looks like a ripoff of the kylie cosmetics one sorry maybelline that was a bit harsh actually wasn't it but it is just exactly like their gloss bomb but i love the big is it dofa 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 oh, i don't know how to spray it but this big like brush tippy bit here I love the thickness of it it's just so big and juicy and this lip gloss has got hyaluronic acid in it so it just means that my lips stay so soft and don't go dry at all throughout the night which is so nice they just can go a bit dry can't they and I don't like the look of that I prefer prefer much more of a gloss but yeah that is in the shade Topaz 009. So it looks a little bit like this. And that, after another last zhuzh setting spray, is me done. So yes, this is the finished makeup look. This is my pretty much day into nighttime routine. I literally just do not do anything different really apart from add a couple of products, but that is all the products that I do use. I'm sorry, this was a little bit more hectic, a little bit more chaotic and longer than what I thought it was going to be. But at least you know everything that I use on my face now. And 
Honestly, I very, very rarely change this up. So this will probably be my routine in another two years time as well. So yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also give this a cheeky little like for me because it means the world and I shall see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.